Guys, what's going on? Hello and welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, we are talking about more amazing new releases. I gotta tell you guys, uh, anybody that's saying physical media is in trouble, physical media is dead in 2022 right now as I'm making this video is not paying attention because this stuff is showing up just about every single day. Every week is packed with wonderful new releases, things I never even dreamed would have come to disc and now in brand new glorious restorations. I'm so happy to be talking to you guys about it. Let's dive right in. We got stuff from Arrow Video, stuff from MVD Entertainment, 88 Films, Troma, VCI, uh, Scorpion releasing so much to talk about. Let's start with this. This is from Arrow Video. This is Jalo Essentials. Uh, it's the black box set. Now, if you've been paying attention, we've previously covered the red box and the yellow box. Um, and the I, I'll even show you the films that are included. So they each have three movies. And the catch with these is that both of these box sets were packaging former releases that had already been on the market things that arrow had already released that changes with the black box these are all brand new to blu-ray first time in production from arrow uh and here are the films and this is the limited edition these limited edition box sets are uh you know well they're limited editions and once they're gone i'll, I'll even hold this up because that's the full rundown hopefully that's clear enough to read Sometimes it focus, the, the closer I get it to the camera, like the camera focuses on me instead of the text. Uh, but hopefully you can see that. Basically the limited edition package is you get the slip case, you get the, it's a, it's a nice hard box too. The art is gorgeous. This is basically the promotional art for the Killer uh, Reserved Nine Seats. Some of the translations for these titles are just amazing. Uh, the Killer Reserved Nine Seats, which I'm so happy is on uh, Blu-ray now. But um so all these have been newly restored. Well, actually, should, let me let me rephrase that. Brand new 2K restorations for Smile Before Death and The Weapon, The Hour, and The Motive. Uh, and then just a 2K restoration. So that, that leaves off new 2K. So I guess that's an existing 2K restoration for the killer reserve nine seats. Uh, huge epic quality on all three of these movies. They have reversible artwork, and I have all, I flipped them around to their original Italian, or, you know, their European artwork, because I think it's so much better. So uh, disc one, Smile Before Death. There's the Euro art. I'll, I'll show you the back of the box, too, and then I'll show you the alternate artwork, which it's not that I don't like it, but when I've got the original European artwork, like, that's it for me. So here's the, there's the new artwork there's the new cover right there uh again it's not bad but i just love that classic 70s stuff uh booklets in all three of these you guys know i love me a booklet i love reading about movies i like the more the deeper dive that these booklets take they really get into themes and the the where who what when where and why i love this stuff let me just find So great stuff. We got, by the way, there's a promo in here for the big racket, which is also on Blu-ray is part of the looking for it. The Rogue cops and racketeers Blu-ray box set, which I highly recommend. All right. I'm going to set that aside and we're going to move on to uh, the weapon, the hour and the motive. There's the Italian artwork, which I love. Again, I should just say Euro. Sometimes Giallo can come from Spain, other parts of the area, you know, other parts of Europe. In fact, some of the, some companies have actually been releasing Spanish Giallo, and, and that's a whole debate for another time. But here is, you know, same same artwork there. But I, which do you like better? Do you better here, better here, better here, <laughs> better here? We're at the we're at the eye doctor. Uh, another sweet booklet with I mean these are 24 page booklets I think they're all 24 pages with just a ton of stuff in here and last but certainly certainly not least this beautiful thing uh, the uh, the killer reserve nine seats which oh did I didn't show you the back of this one so here's here's the reverse of this if you want to freeze frame that and you know what Two, double, double your, double your pleasure. <laughs> okay. Here's the, uh, the new, or the, the alternate artwork is what I should say. 
with another 24 page booklet about the making of the movie. The, the premise of this is pretty great. I think a lot, if you haven't seen this thing, a lot of you guys are going to like it. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a chamber murder story where 10 little Indians, these people are locked in a house and they've been invited to this house and they start getting killed. Like classic horror premise. Uh, you could do like the house on Haunted Hill for that. You could do, I mean, so many different Agatha Christie, but, um, He's wearing, this is the disguise, is this mask. It looks like one of Jerry Anderson's, like a Thunderbird. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I, I think this stuff is great. Um, the, these have, I think this one has the most recognizable performers in here too. Um, let me see what we got here. Uh, Andreas Scotti, uh, Howard Ross, uh, Carlos Savini is the composer. Anyway, so... I could spend a lot of time. Reviews for these will eventually show up at serialatmidnight.com. Reviews always show up at serialatmidnight.com. So I make these videos for sort of the general audience. It's a product awareness video. So you know, oh, that's coming out. But for those that like uh, a more, you know, a deeper discussion, a deeper dive on some of this stuff, uh, keep your eyes peeled to serialatmidnight.com. All right, also from Arrow, Hell high. Oh, that's the back. <laughs> Hell high. This is a cool slipcase too. Uh, see, there's the whole cut out of mine that my my PR my promo uh, because I'm a reviewer. You know, these are sent to me, but they have holes punched in them. Yes, my Jalo box set has a hole punched in it too. You can't really see it there, but you can see it there. So sometimes I get you know passive. I was gonna say passive aggressive comments. Sometimes they're just aggressive. Um, but my stuff has holes in it, so I don't know. It's the cost I uh, I pay for getting to review this stuff, but I will gladly take it. Uh, let's talk about, it's backwards again, let's talk about Hell High. This is a 1986 horror movie that mixes revenge with some slasher elements that were everywhere at that time. Uh, and the, you, you see the reversible artwork. There, there is reversible artwork. The other art is this, which I like. But again, so now I have both pieces. I always flip them around, so when I take it out of the slipcover, I've got both two pieces of, of artwork. Uh, here's the back of the box if you want to read about the film and see what's included. I'll read some of this to you guys. But uh, this thing is loaded, you guys. Three commentaries, audio commentaries, uh, audio commentary fans, heads up. Brand new audio commentary with the director, producer, and co-writer Douglas Grossman and the cinematographer Steve Feierberg. Archival commentary with the director, Douglas Grossman. Archival introduction and audio commentary with film critic Joe Bob Briggs. All the Joe Bob fans out there, he's got a commentary and he introduces this. It's archival. It's not new, but do we care? Um, we'll see. Where did I, School's Out, newly filmed interview with the director. Uh, a Beautiful Nightmare, newly filmed interview with the cinematographer. A newly filmed interview with the actor Christopher Cousins. New interview with actress Maureen Mooney. A new interview with the composer uh, Richard McCarr and Christopher Hyams Hart. Back to school, the locations of Hell High, uh, Hell High filming site, it's the tour of the filming sites with Michael Gingold, the author and filmmaker. Archival interviews, uh, director, it just goes on, deleted scenes, uh, alternate opening titles, trailers, TV spots. I mean, dang, you guys, that's a lot of stuff for Hell High fans. Arrow with these, like, VHS era horror movies, it, they're just, and, and regional stuff, they're getting into the, well, they're not getting into it, they've been into it, but... Look at that. With the regional stuff and the 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 video video the video era, it was because a VHS and video came out. Um, I mean, this stuff is just amazing. Like, there's never been so much appreciation for these movies and what they do. So, this is all happening right now with Arrow from MVD MVD Entertainment. We got two new entries in the MVD Rewind collection: Desperate Hours, which is a Mickey Rourke. Well, I was guessing it's a Mickey Rourke movie. Mickey Rourke, uh, it's 1990. Uh, Mickey Rourke, uh, Anthony Hopkins, pre Silence of the Lambs, Anthony Hopkins, Mimi Rogers, and uh, Kelly Lynch. And this is sort of this guy goes into these people's house. He takes them, kind of holds them hostage, and terrorizes them. And uh, it's it's a it's an intense thriller from 1990. And it's got, um, let me try to behind a standard definition behind the scenes feature that's six minutes. Original theatrical trailer, collectible mini poster, reversible artwork. Let's check out that reversible artwork. The slip covers for these, uh, I don't remember the number off the top of my head. They, the slip covers are limited, but in the they're shrink wrapped into the, the it's all shrink wrapped around everything. So 
that's how they arrive. Uh, but if you want the slip cover, you gotta you gotta come early. So reversible. I like the way these look like videotapes. They've got like the tape texture and the label. So there is that artwork that we're talking about. So, you know, you're missing a piece of cardboard, but you do still have the artwork. And the poster as well. Whoop, it's upside down. So I love, you know, I have so many of these MVD Rewind releases. What is this, number 41? Oh, I'm doing them out of order. I'm about to talk about 40, and I've already talked about 41. Anyway, I wish that I had a place to put some of this stuff, but why do you hang 40 posters or 41 posters? You just rotate them out, I guess. Uh, anyway, Miami Blues, 1989, Alec Baldwin. He's a bad guy, and uh, he's got this cop that's on, on his trail, and he steals the cop's badge, like steals a lot of stuff from the cop, and then passes himself off as the cop. Uh, and uh, it's like, a, it's a crime movie, but it's also, got, it's kind of funny. And look how young Alec Baldwin is, 1989 Alec Baldwin. That's pretty early for Alec Baldwin. Um, Especially when you think about all he's done in the last, wow, uh, 30 plus year, you know, really like a 35, 40 year career, I guess. All right. So here is, did I show you the back of Desperate Hours? Here's the back of Desperate Hours. Here's another Double Your Pleasure. Freeze frame that if you want to read about these. And I'll take it away right now. So this has uh, a lot of stuff. This has Interview with Alec Baldwin and Jennifer Jason Lee, who's also in this. Uh, that's 26 minutes and it's in HD. Original theatrical trailer, three TV spots, original Orion home video trailer, photo gallery, collectible mini poster, alternate artwork. And same presentation, mini poster of the artwork. Very cool stuff. Uh, from 88 Films, another, you know, I've been talking about all the 88 Films martial arts movies that are coming out. Uh, and they've started doing things for Region A and Region B. You know, 88 Films is based out of, uh, of, the, out of, out of the UK, the British Isles. And um, they have recently, within the last year, branched out to a lot of stuff with North America. I think we've got about a dozen releases or so. This is the latest, uh, Marshall Club. And, well, here, before I show you the alternate artwork, the original artwork, I'll show you this slipcase. Uh, this is another one that's really loaded. It's a, what is, oh, hold on. What's the year for this movie? Um, 1981. So 80s Kung Fu. Uh, okay, so um, we've got limited edition poster, limited edition booklet, new, the slipcase, the limited edition slipcase with a new artwork by RP Kung Fu Bob O'Brien. Audio commentary with Asian cinema expert Frank Jang, who does great commentaries. Uh, and actor martial arts uh, artist Michael Worth. Supplemental audio commentary with Asian cinema expert Frank Jang. Uh, so that's the second Frank Jang commentary. Uh, in Instructors of Death, Grindhouse, Pre Grindhouse Presentation. Kung Fu, uh, Kung Fu and Dancing, an interview with actor Robert Mack. I'm just reading this to you now. Okay, I'm going to hold that up and you can read that yourself. You see that it's just loaded with stuff, right? So let's take a look at the ugh, alternate artwork. This is the original poster artwork for this. Look at all that good stuff. And a lot of times these drop to, you know, $20, $25, which for everything that you're getting is uh, is great. So there's the reversible artwork. We've got a booklet, Instructors of Death, original title. This is, is this 24 pages? It's gonna, oh, they're not numbered. So I can't, did it say? Did it say how many pages um, no. Anyway, it's dense. Lots of cool fit here. With that's that's a great shot right there. Okay, and I love again posters. So new art and classic art. Haven't seen this movie yet. Uh, I we have been so the the Western world has been so blessed with all the Kung Fu offerings that have hit our shores within the last year to two, year, one to two years, uh, so much stuff. So I, I'm catching up on some of this stuff, but uh, review will show up at, you know where, serialatmidnight.com. From VCI, the Aztec Mummy Collection. Very excited about this. These are more Mexican horror classics. Um, these, now here's the, this is the thing about these movies. These are 
50s and 60s. I'm not sure what the exact year. Um, 1964. Let's see. 1957, 1958, and 1964. So it's Curse of the Aztec Mummy, the robot versus the Aztec Mummy, which is a camp classic. People, we, people love that movie. And then Wrestling Women versus the Aztec Mummy. Uh, and... So their Mexican movies, obviously they were shot in Spanish, but these VCI releases, they, from what I've been told, which there's no press release about this, this is what I've been told privately, the Mexican, uh, or audio, the original Mexican filmed audio tracks, the Spanish audio tracks made in Mexico, are not part of the deal. They, they're not being offered. Not only are they not part of the deal, they're not being offered, which is why VCI has been doing new uh, dubs for these and VCI has said, they did say this, that if they had the option to release them with their original Spanish language audio tracks, they would. And if they get to re-release them in the future, if things change, they will. But for now, they're getting these movies out. And these have the classic K. Gordon Murray dubs, which I'm super excited about. Because the K. Gordon Murray dubs are of the era. You know, K. Gordon Murray, we talked to Daniel Griffith from Ballyhoo Motion Pictures about this because he's working on a K. Gordon Murray documentary. It's one of the first things he ever did and it got shelved and he's pulled it out of the drawer and he's working on it again. Um, K. Gordon Murray was sort of a, well, he was an exploitation producer. He brought it, it was Santa Claus, that Santa Claus movie from the, the 60s. Um, and gave a lot of this stuff English dubs and then showed them in matinees for people or late night shows. You know, he, he's an exploitation guy. So these K. Gordon Murray dubs go back to close to when these movies were made and they they feel right, you know, for guys like me who grew up on this stuff, late 80s, early 90s, that sort of a thing. Um, it feels right. So these are not new dubs. These are the classic K. Gordon Murray dubs. All three movies are on one disc, one Blu-ray, but they're like, let's see, the first movie is 65 minutes, the second movie is 65 minutes, and the last movie is 85 minutes. So, by the way, uh, the Aztec Mummy movies, a video essay by, essay by film historian Dr. David Witt. David Witt, Dr. David Witt, has been doing a ton of stuff with VCI to talk about these Spanish language movies. Mex well, it's, I, see, I keep saying Spanish language. These are Mexican movies. They're deeply rooted in Mexican culture with lucha. Uh, you know, luchador stuff with uh, the, all the cultures just flowing through these movies. The Aztec culture, right? These are, they're, they're inseparable from their origins. And the, this uh, Dr. David Wilt is a, an expert on these movies and on the culture. And he offers a lot of insight on this stuff. So I, I really appreciate that. And I am super excited. I mean, look, you guys, got, we, we got the Santo movies. We've got this. We've got... Um, uh, the Batwoman movie that came out last year, let's see, there's 2021, and there's more coming. There's still more. VCI just continues to license these Mexican movies, they're you know, Mexican exploitation movies, and though they are not intact with the original language, they I'm just glad that I get to see them because before this, you know, they're all remastered. They this one, these even say I think that they've been restored from the original 35 millimeter elements. So reviews at serialmidnight.com after I have taken the time to review them. From Troma, uh, Zombie Island Massacre, 1980, is this 84? 1984, yes. Um, directed by John N. Carter. Uh, I've never seen this. This is a discovery for me, so I can't say too much about it other than just kind of tell you what's here. So, Blu-ray restored from the, I think this is from the Interpositive. Do I have a, um, sometimes they'll tell you what the source for this stuff is. Um, anyway, featuring flesh, a flesh-eating score by Harry Manfredini from Friday the 13th, uh, Zombie Island Massacre delivers on its title, Gore, an intense voodoo ceremony and the serious reason why you shouldn't sign up for any resort activities. That's Joe Corey from InsidePulse.com. A lot of special features here. Uh, there they are. You can read them. Lloyd Kaufman's involved with this. He's as, as he is with everything trauma, really. But uh, Playboy cover girl Rita Ginrette makes her motion picture debut in this tale of terror that befalls a group of, terror of tourists visiting a Caribbean island, ancient forests, voodoo rituals, ghoulish zombies, forbidden jungle. It's exploitation, man. It's 80s. But, you know, shot on film. You know, this is from the classic heyday of, like, video store exploitation. Shot on film made for, you know. Um, we have two reissues. These things have gone out of print. These are both... So we have uh, Death Wish 3 and the Delta Force. Sleep tight, sucker. Should I wear my Delta Force t-shirt? I've got a Chuck Norris t-shirt where he's got the like the bazooka and it says Sleep Tight Sucker. Um, 
Scorpion releasing put these out in 2020 with brand new or I, th I think it was 2020 the restorations were done in 2020 brand new 20, 2020 2k scan from the original interpositive and yeah from the original interpositive and um these were uh limited editions i don't remember how limited but they were gone they were out of print from what i know or from what i remember now they're back and i don't think these are limited at all so they're back in prints uh, they all have special features. Uh, Death Wish 3 has an interview with actor Kirk Taylor, the giggler. Audio commentary with Paul Talbot. That's the guy that wrote the book ab about, um, well, Bronson is loose. There's two of them. And uh, that's he does great. He's popping up on a lot of Kino Lorber commentaries because they've been doing a lot of Bronson too. In fact, like, can you guys see? It? Yeah, it's out of frame. And it was like eight Bronson movies on Blu-ray that have come out in the last year or so. Uh, and the Delta Force features, um, let's see, brand new interview with screenwriter James Bruner and archival interviews with Robert For Robert Forrester and Elaine Jakubowicz. So here's here's the back. Double your pleasure once again, ladies and gentlemen. Lads, lords and ladies. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for this. And I'm, I'm sure I'll be back here like within the next day or two talking about more new releases because this stuff just continues to come out uh, faster and better than ever before. Again, I'm, I feel really fortunate to be able to talk to you guys about this stuff, to review it, to be the guy telling you about what's coming out because you love it and I love it and it's just so exciting. I. I, I just want, I don't think it's going to last forever. I talk about these in the end, in my like end of the year videos when I do my wrap ups, like this can't last forever. We're living in a golden moment. So I see a lot of negativity. I see a lot of complaining. I see a lot of like, well, this was missing a frame, you know, like really, really, I'm mean, not that it does, not that the things shouldn't be as good as they can be, but this moment that we're living in is not going to last forever. And we are going to look back on this one day with our shelves sagging from the weight of what we've been able to enjoy, pull, pull any movie we want to off our shelves. We're gonna look back on this day and be like, those were the years when things were really wonderful. Discoveries, uh, restorations. We got it better than any movie fans in the history of movie fandom right now. Guys, thank you so much. Take care. Till next time, I'll catch you later.